What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts and today let's check out a South Park classic from season one. This is An Elephant Makes Love to a Pig. Let's do this. Hey Stan, where'd you get that black eye? Nothing. Oh. I, mean, I mean, nowhere. Your sister beat you up again, huh? No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your sister kicked your ass. She's just Jelly. pissed off because she got headgear at the dentist. She's taking it out on me. I would never let a woman kick my ass. If she tried anything, I'd be like, ah, right, you get your bitch ass back in the kitchen and make me some pie. My parents don't even believe that she beats me up. They think she's all innocent and sweet, but I know that she's an evil bitch. Be a man, Stan. Just say, hey, women, eat, eat, shut your mouth and make babies. Hey, Kyle, okay. what's that elephant doing? <laughs> you mean this one? Yeah, he's my new pet elephant. Where'd you get a pet elephant? I got it mail exactly. order from Africa. My mom won't let me keep him in the house. She says he's too big and that its poop is bigger than our couch. That's why my mom got me a pot-bellied pig. Because its poop is smart. Well, yeah, but pigs aren't smart like elephants. <laughs> Wait a minute. What is that thing? Oh, th this is the new retarded kid. Oh, I'm sorry, little girl. But you still can't get on. You have to take the special ed bus. <laughs> Boy, it looks like you're not welcome anywhere, elephant. See ya. Just left it there. Genetic engineering is an exciting new science. You can splice the DNA from some animals and make them better. With genetic engineering, can you make an elephant smaller? Well, uh, yes, I suppose you could. You could splice elephant genes with a dog or cat or potbelly pig genes. That's it. I'm going to combine so my elephant with a potbelly pig and make potbellied elephants. <gasps> I bet I can genetically clone a whole human being before you crossbreed an elephant and a pig. I'll bet you can't. Watch me, plebeian. Isn't this exciting? Two A-plus students in a cloning war. Genetic engineering lets us correct God's horrible, horrible mistakes, like German people. You know, you boys might want to visit the genetic engineering ranch outside of town for some help. And you could both use this for your science fair projects next month. Just adding fuel to the fire, Mr. Garrison. I couldn't help but notice that black eye you have. Are there problems at home? Yes. And tell your friend Mr. Hat all about it. Now, who hits you? Is it your father or your mother? Oh, neither. It's my sister. Your sister? Don't be such a little wuss. Stop wasting Mr. Hat's time with pansy little foo-foo problems and give me back my cocoa. Mine's back up for some questions. Hello, Robert. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you looking at my headgear? What headgear? First appearance of Shelly. I think it looks terrific. It matches your... Ah! <laughs> 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 I have elder sisters, but they weren't giving me black eyes and throwing me down the stairs. Oh, 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 oh. They would pinch me when I wouldn't do my chores, though. But that's the worst I got. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> you could have killed him. Ready to go, Stan? We got Cartman's pig so we can splice its jeans with my elephant. I swear I'm going to kill you, Stan! Why is your sister so mean to you, dude? If some sissy chick tried to kick my ass, I'd be all like, Hey, listen, missy, why don't you go knit me a sweater before I slap you in the face? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> this must be it. Yeah, looks like nobody's home. Guess we should come back some other time. It's okay, Fluffy. I won't let them hurt you. It's just a stupid pig. Yeah, quit being such a baby. Well, at least I don't get my ass kicked by a girl. At least I'm not a little pig f Hey, I'm oh. taking my pig and screw you guys. This whole idea is stupid anyway. What the hell would you know, you fat, sweaty mongoloid? You never get higher than a D. Hey, why don't you go back to San Francisco That's with the rest of the Jews? There's no Jews in San Francisco, you retard. I kick you in the nuts. Can I help you? We want to crossbreed an elephant with a pig. We want to make little potbelly elephants that people can keep in their houses as pets. Oh, that's an even better idea. Come on in. I'm so pleased that your children are interested in genetic engineering. It's thanks to the wonders of genetic engineering that soon there will be an end to hunger, disease, pollution, even war. I have created things that will change the world for the better. For instance, here is a monkey with four asses. <laughs> How does that make the world better? <laughs> and here, of course, life. is my four-assed ostrich and my four-assed mongoose. How does that help anything? A Swiss cheese spliced with chalk and a beard. Well, what about our pot-bellied elephant? Well, I'm sorry, children, but pig and elephant DNA just won't splice. Haven't you ever heard that song by Loverboy? Which song is that? Pig and elephant DNA just won't splice. Won't splice. <laughs> Ow! Hmm? Oh. What? 
Oh, excuse me. Wait, what are you taking Stan's blood for? Oh, pardon me, I tripped. Could I have some hair, please? Watch out, Stan. Genetic engineers are crazy. Come on, Flappy. <laughs> Any of you blokes know what's for lunch today? Go away, Pip. Nobody likes you. Yeah, what kind of name is Pip, anyway? Well, my father's family name being Pirip, and my Christian name Philip, my infant tongue. <laughs> My father's family name being Pirip, and my Christian name Philip, my infant tongue. Uh, damn it! Will you shut the hell up? Nobody gives a <laughs> rat's ass. Yeah, go away, Pip. But science fair project yet? No, we're already halfway done. Then all you've got is a stupid pig. Yeah, he's got a gay pig, too. <laughs> stupid gay pig. Maybe you should name your dog Sparkette, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> gay dog. We've already got our human clone well underway. Oh, my God! They cloned a foot! By Friday, we're gonna clone a whole human being. Hello there, children. Hey, Chef. How you doing? Bad. Why bad? We need to genetically engineer a pig and an elephant, but their genes won't splice. Oh, of course they won't splice, children. Haven't you ever heard that song by Loverboy? Everybody's working for the weekend. Didn't, didn't pig and an elephant DNA just won't... A pig elephant? <laughs> Say, now that's not a bad idea. A pint-sized elephant that you could keep in the house. We could make a fortune with this. You hear that, dudes? We'll be rich! If you want to combine a pig and an elephant, just get them to make sweet love. What? I don't think an elephant would make love to a pig. Sure they would. But you're gonna have to get them in the mood. Well, how do we do that? Do what I do. Get them good and drunk. <laughs> oh, no, Chef. You guys don't want to come over for just a little bit? Why? Your sister gonna kick your ass again? Shut up, Carmen! We gonna fool the rules. Yeah, Stan, she's just a girl. If some girl tried to kick my ass, I'd be like, Hey, why don't you stop dressing me up like a mailman and making me dance for you while you go and smoke crack in your bedroom and have sex with some guy I don't even know on my dad's bed. What? The next time she's going to kick your ass, just tell her, Shelly, you're my sister, and I love you. <laughs> Sick, dude, she's my sister. Try it. We'll see you in a while. We've got to go get Carmen's pig. South Park, Are you staring at my neck brace? No, I, I mean, yes. Oh. I mean, what neck brace? <laughs> You're my sister, and I love you. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> ah. It didn't work. Someday, Shelly, I'm going to be bigger than you, and you're going to wish you'd never done any of this to me. You'll never be bigger than me, Stan. My son, I think we've finally done it. Yes, we have, Dad. My very own human clone. Oh. Damn, I wonder how drunk he needs to be to make sweet love to the pig. Damn it! You just can't stick a drunk pig with a drunk elephant and expect them to do the mattress mumbo. You need to set the mood. Let me show okay. you boys what I'm talking about. Tonight is right for love. You know I want to touch you while the lights don't go. Tonight is right for love. Love gravy. You're burning like a dog in heat. Tonight is right for love. Love, great. <laughs> Ooh, tonight. Oh, it's right. Ooh, tonight is right for love. Love, great. <laughs> Thank you, Elton. Can you feel the love? Gather round. And watch the wonders of life. Hmm, now I know how all those white women must have felt. Oh, how luscious. A creature has come to fruition, boys. Dad, you're the best. Look like oh that. my god, he only has one ass. He's of no use to me. I'll have to burn the room. This entire experiment is turning out very bad. Hey, Bob. Bye, Cherry Chomp. He's too dangerous, son. <laughs> Dad, I want a human clone. Son, no. <laughs> oh, son. You've made a horrible mistake. You've put all the people of South Park in jeopardy. Aren't they ever going to wake up? Oh, they will. It's going to be one ugly sight. I thought you said the wonder of Mother Nature was a beautiful thing. Yeah, when does Mother Nature go from beautiful to ugly? Usually about 9.30 in the morning, children. Uh-oh, here we go. Uh, there's nothing worse than getting all drunk and waking up the next morning next to a pig. 
terrible. Or a big fat elephant. Oh, thank Buddha I found you boys. You must tell me, have you seen anything odd lately? Uh, we saw an elephant have sex with a pig. No, no, I said odd. There's been a bit of an incident at the ranch. You see, I've created a large mutant clone of that little boy there, and he's broken free. A big mutant version of me? Stan, are you wearing a different hat? Or a different head? Look how big his head is. I know a certain young man who's itching for detention. Okay. It appears that the horrible, destructive creature is actually eight-year-old Stan Marsh of South Park. When asked why he was wreaking such havoc on his hometown, the little boy replied simply, Me, Stan. But chomp, but chewy chomp, but chewy chomp. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Tom. Police are requesting that if you see this little eight-year-old boy, you immediately kill him and burn his body. That's all for now. Oh, no. The way is paved with gold for ye who seek truth. And... Jesus! My evil genetic clone is destroying the town. We have to find him. You boys have been watching the X-Files too much. There's no such thing as genetic clones. Whoa! Stan, there he goes. Stop! Yeah, He recognizes you, dude. That's good. What should we do with him? Stan? Oh. How would you like to go home and meet your sister? Uh oh. Ah, I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. Shelly's the one with the big wire coming out of her mouth and a metal plate on her back. When you see Shelly, kick her ass. Shelly bad. Me bad. No, Shelly bad. You good. He's tearing up the house. Stop him. <laughs> Still no match. Boys, boys, I'm lusciously sorry for everything. <laughs> lusciously sorry? This beast is a disgrace to genetic engineers everywhere. I tried to play God, and I failed. Daddy, no! Perhaps we shouldn't be toying with God's creations. Perhaps we should just leave nature alone to its simple, one-ass schematics. Oh my God, they killed Kitty! You bastard! Mom and Dad are home. My house is a disaster. You guys gotta help me. We have to go find out if Carmen's pig is pregnant or not. See ya. Thanks a lot. Just abandoned him. The whole town wants me killed. Mom and Dad are gonna send me away. I don't want to be sent away. I want to stay here. <laughs> Stanley, what in God's name have you been doing? Everybody in town is upset with you, young man. Sharon's What's first going lines. on? Are you on drugs? It wasn't Stan. You should for me the whole time. Oh. Well, Stan, we're, uh, we're sorry we jumped to conclusions. Oh, honey, please forgive us, son. Shelly, you, you saved my life. Today you've taught me the meaning of family. Sure, families don't always get along, but when the forces of evil descend upon us, we conquer them by sticking together. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Kyle, we're ready to see your science project. Our pig hasn't given birth yet, but she should any time now. Oh, well, then I guess you get an F. Okay, Terrence, I know the class <laughs> can hardly wait to see your science fair project. Thank you, Mr. Garrison. Bill, Fossey, and I have spawned a creature genetically far superior to man. I present to you the five-assed monkey. <laughs> oh, Mr. Hat, isn't it beautiful? Why? Wait, wait! The pig just gave birth! It, it had a baby! It had a baby? What's it look like? Hey, really? it kind of looks like Mr. Garrison. Oh, gee, isn't that an amazing coincidence? <clears throat> uh, what are the odds of that? You boys get first prize. That'll do, pig. That'll do, pig. So that was the first appearance of Dr. Mephesto, and I remember him from that Cartman Joins Nambla episode. Well, I happen to be a member of an organization that can help you. It's called Nambla. First appearance of Shelly, first appearance of Sharon, and just an overall wacky first season episode. But I enjoyed this one, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.